Welcome back everyone. Uh, this is part five of our little farm game. Um, in today's episode, we're going to do quite a bit, so we're going to get right into it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to add something called texture rect. Um, and then we're going to just drag this and then pretend it doesn't exist. I'm going to rename it BG. Actually, I'm going to name it, rename it water. Um, one thing to note is I had to edit one of the tiles. The water tile was one entire thing, but I separated it into four different ones. Um, you can, again, this is going to be on my GitHub. So um, last video I uploaded my this project to my GitHub. So you can get everything, including the source files, the actual code on that GitHub. So um, if you don't want to do that, you can get all the uh, art on its own and then copy along. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into here actually. We'll do new resource, then we're going to do animated texture. And then in here, we're going to call it water. And also I'll just save it right there. So it'll it pop up right there. In our frames, we're going to do four frames. It's going to pop up four frames. We're going to open each one. And super simple, we're just going to assign each one. So water one, water two, water three, and water four. And now you can see our animated sprite right there, or animated texture, I suppose. Um, and then you can change a lot of stuff like pause, whatever, FPS, um, FPS, I'll keep it at five. Um, and now what we're going to do is go into our texture rect. And now we're just going to drag in our water. And as you can see, we have our water. However, it didn't expand, it's just one, right? So to do that or to change that, we're going to go to stretch mode. We're going to change it to tile. And then, yeah, no, expand off. And now what we can do is cover the back. So now we have our background as water. Now it kind of looks like we're on an island. Awesome. Now when I play, I can still walk over it, which is fine for now. I will kind of work on collision, but now it kind of looks like we're in a real world, right? So that's the background for the water. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a Y sort. I'm going to put this right above the UI. And this is going to be plants. Plants. I'm going to also add a script to the world. It's not going to be built in. I'm going to delete all this. I'm going to leave it like this for now. There's nothing to add. We're going to go to a new node. We're going to, let's add a 2D scene. This is going to be plant. Um, I'm going to save it into. Let's make a new folder and do plants. I'm going to save it. So now we have plants right there. And then in our node, we're going to add a sprite. We're going to add a timer. And then we're also going to add a script for it. All right, and then we're going to delete this. We're going to leave, leave the ready function. And in our sprite, we're going to go to the tile set for our sprites. And we're going to find the Nope, where is it? It's an objects, maybe. Yeah, there it is. It's an objects. We're going to take the basic plants. Um, yeah, that's it. We're going to take the basic plants. We're going to drag it to texture. We're going to go to animation. And the V frame is two. And the H frame should be six. There we go. So now we have our animated sprite right there. And if you see, we can change the frame to one. Um, right now we'll leave it at zero. So what we can do is we can now go into our plant. We're going to make two variables. One is going to be on ready there timer equals timer. And another one on ready variable um, plant equals sprite. So now, whoops, don't want to delete that. Um, now, whenever we are in our ready function, what we're going to do is timer start. We're going to, we're not going to edit the time for now, um, but we're going to start the timer. And then we are going to connect the timer. All right. And then we're going to make one more variable called stage. And every time, nope, not every time, what we're going to do is now make a process function. And in here, we're going to match stage with the numbers. Um, plant dot uh, frame equals one. 
And so what we're going to do is depending on the stage, I'm going to actually initialize it at zero. So the stage will automatically start at zero. And so the frame will become one. Um, let me just change this to start as well. We'll set the frame to one. And then what we'll do is copy this four times. So we have two, three, four, five. So our plant has five stages. Hit five, four, three, two, and one. And obviously, we have to do plus equals one. However, this will keep going. So what we're going to do is if the stage is smaller than six, then we'll keep adding to it. Or what we can do is smaller than or equal to five. All right, next thing we're going to do is test it. So if we go into our world, we go into our plants, is it plants? I'm going to add it right there. And then if I launch the game, it should automatically start growing. One, two, three, and five. That is stage five, so the, the plant is completely done. Uh, now we're going to change it up a little bit. So this is a pretty simple way of adding plants. Um, and we will kind of be something similar later on, but yeah, let's just get into it. So um, constant plant equals um, preload. No, it's not going to preload for me. I'm going to have to drag it in. So drag it in. There we go. So we have preloaded our plant. And now what we're going to do is every time I click, so I'm going to do variable input event if event dot is action. Um, we're going to, there is no click, so we're going to have to add that. Um, we're going to go to input map, and then we're going to do spawn. And in our spawn, we're going to do click. So it's going to be mouse button. And we're going to do, yeah, we'll do left button. So is action spawn. Hold on. Spawn. It shouldn't autocorrect for me. Okay. I'll just type it in. Just have to make sure I did it right. Okay. It's capitalized. Awesome. Now what we'll do is we'll just pass to get the error out there. Now what we can do is plant or make the plant. So plant dot initialize, right? No instance, sorry. Instance. And then we're going to take this plant. And we're going to set the position equal to get global mouse position. And then we will plant one dot add child. However, I want to add it in the plants section. So we're going to do dot dip plants. Okay, I will do it this way. Plants. And then we'll add the child in that node. And that should work. Awesome. Now if we launch the game, it'll error because it hates me. What's going on? That one on, on base invalid get index. What's going on? Plant instance, plant. Ah, what is happening here? Oh, I know. We did not do it properly. There we go. Head child plant one. That makes way more sense than what I wrote. So now every time I click, I add a child and inside each node, it'll automatically start growing. So now we can add a bunch of plants and there's no limit. Boop, 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 boop. We have a bunch of plants and yeah, there we go. There's our like farming game. So that's pretty much it. Um, we've Pretty much added plants that work. We have a little background in the back that that works. Um, yeah, that's it for today's video. Um, it was I did go a bit fast. Let me know if you guys think you want me to slow down and explain a bit more, or if you think this is a good speed. Um, I'm trying to. Obviously, I want to grow the channel and I want to help you guys learn, but at the same time, I want to grow the channel. And to do that, I need to kind of get good watch time. And so, if I'm going too slow, I'm sure some of you will skip, which is fine. Um, I would do that too. So I want to try to find that good speed to go at. 
Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys thought this was useful. Um, let me know if you learned anything. Subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys next time.